Hello students, today we will be taking up the topic of hypersensitivity reaction. Some students find it difficult to memorize all the types as well as their examples. So I have made very interesting mnemonics, very easy to remember. After this, you can answer most of the questions from this topic of hypersensitivity reaction. So I will just start with a mnemonic which is very easy. First you should know that there are four types of hypersensitivity. How many? Four, right? An easy to remember mnemonic. It is A, B, C, D, right? A for allergic reactions. A for allergic. B for antibody mediated. B for antibody mediated. C for complex mediated. And what is that complex? Immune complex or antigen antibody complex. And D is delay type of hypersensitivity. So with this ABCD mnemonic, it is very easy to remember the main pathogenetic factor behind it. Next thing they can ask you is C. Allergic, it is easy to remember, will be due to IgE mediated. Allergic means IgE mediated, no confusion. Next thing they will ask is immediate type of hypersensitivity. Is it easy to remember I for immediate type of sensitivity reaction? Yes, so these are the three main questions they will ask you along with the examples we will be studying later. Next, type 2, antibody mediated. One thing they will ask is antibody mediated. Second, it is also cytotoxic type of hypersensitivity. Two, two, here it is coming two times. So, type 2 will be cytotoxic mediated hypersensitivity reaction. Three, Complex mediated, immune complex mediated hypersensitivity reaction they ask you. Another thing they ask you are the examples, right? Delay type of hypersensitivity. It is easy. Delay type, how many things you can remember? D for diagnosis of TB. D for diagnosis of TB or the tuberculin skin test, right? Then one thing, type 1 diabetes mellitus. Type 1 diabetes mellitus. Contact dermatitis. Dermatitis. Then if you are delayed or you are late, you often miss things. If you are delayed, you often miss things. Multiple sclerosis, IBD, S for contact sensitivity or skin test. S for skin test. And S though the spelling is different, but you can remember psoriasis. You can remember so, 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 with this mnemonic ABCD, you can answer most of the questions. Now, let's start. First slide I am telling you, this is the type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. If you remember, it is Ig mediated. And if you remember Ig, can you remember? They will be located on the mast cells. Mast cells, when activated in allergic reaction, they will release granules. These granules will lead to immediate type of reaction. And the late phase reaction will be due to the cytokines late phase reaction will be due to the cytokines if you remember allergic can you remember all the four examples of type 1 what are they bronchial asthma so a for asthma two for anaphylactic reaction two for anaphylactic reaction third will be food allergy so allergy food allergy and fourth will be hay fever these are the four examples of type 1 sensitivity reaction Next, type 2, if you remember, it is antibody mediated. B, antibody mediated. It is cytotoxic type. 2 is coming two times. Cytotoxic type of um, hypersensitivity reaction. Then what will be the example? Can you remember all the two word diseases? Which will be that? Good pastor syndrome. Good pastor syndrome will be one. Next will be? Next will be myasthenia gravis. Myasthenia gravis. So just easy to remember few of these. You can easily remember two word diseases are there. Next, I can, you have to remember good pasture. If you are good, you walk on a linear pathway. You do not get deviated. If you are good, you walk on a linear pathway and you do not get deviated. That means in good pasture syndrome, there is linear pattern on immunofluorescence. In good pasture, there is linear appearance on immunofluorescence. Then one more example you need to remember in type 2 hypersensitivity reaction is that the antigens are fixed here. For example, RBC antigens, antigens are fixed on RBCs. But if your body is not able to recognize as the self-antigen, 
whether consider it is foreign then there will be hypersensitivity increase sensitivity and this antibody mostly igg igm type they will react with these and lead to their lysis so that will result in autoimmune hemolytic anemia similar phenomenon with platelets will lead to autoimmune thrombocytopenic purpura so autoimmune two word autoimmune diseases is another example of type 2 along with good pasteur and myasthenia gravis next type 3 is complex mediated what complex mediated immune complex or antigen antibody complex has already been formed and will get deposited at the site and cause the lysis or destruction for example this is the blood vessel you can remember three letter diseases pan three letter diseases because it is type 3 reaction pan next is sle pan if you can see in the blood vessel sle next example is streptococcal glomerulonephritis streptococcal glomerulonephritis one thing you have to remember three means it is not specific it is lumpy bumpy in hindi it is often said teen tigada kaam bigada that means type 3 will be not specific it will be lumpy bumpy it will be lumpy bumpy kabhi idhar kabhi udhar right teen tigada kaam bigada so in post streptococcal glomerulonephritis it will be lumpy bumpy appearance on immunofluorescence right this is important question asked here next delay type if you remember it is d or type 4 delay type with this what did you remember it is seen in diagnosis of t diagnosis of tb type 1 diabetes mellitus type 1 diabetes mellitus contact dermatitis right and if you are delayed if you are late you often miss things multiple sclerosis ibd s for skin test or tb diagnosis tuberculin skin test and s for so the spelling is different but you can remember it is psoriasis it is psoriasis so very easy to remember all the examples all the mnemonics i hope with these mnemonics you can now easily remember all the examples so yes 1 2 3 4 it is an allergic reactions two is antibody mediated this is immune complex and four is delayed hypersensitivity reactions this is these three are antibody mediated whereas this is cell mediated right this is cell mediated this is immediate type this is cytotoxic right this is complex mediated and this is delayed with this d you can remember a lot of other diseases and this miss these are mostly two word diseases good pasteur and myasthenia gravis also autoimmune diseases of autoimmune hemolytic anemia or autoimmune thrombocytopenic purpura here you can remember sle pan glomo streptococcal glomerulonephritis right this is linear appearance on immunofluorescence and this is lumpy bumpy appearance right so i hope it is clear with you if you like my video then please subscribe and don't forget to comment share and like my video thank you